debug on the front end with the JavaScript console. Uh, you can debug on the back end because when you go to make a payment, one of the, 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 the plugin emits quite a lot of debug information. So in this case, when I make a payment, I'm uh, creating a payment with the payment ID that was um, if it's returned when it's successful. I'm also logging a whole lot of um, processing information. So if, if I go and look in the payment table, um, I find this really, really helpful. Um, I've got this debug information. And because of using that debug information, I can see the exact request that's being made and the exact response. And when I see problems, then I can then go and look in the API documentation and figure out what is wrong. You know, maybe I'm missing a field or so on. So this is a really helpful way to um, be able to debug that information, debug what's going on if things are failing. Um, and just to just to rem remind you, you basically from the having made the, the backend workflow making the request, it basically just captures the debug information that's that the plugin returns.